Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special video. If you adore Halloween, and you love the odd and the strange, you may have heard of Don Post Studios. Don Post Studios was a mask making company, founded in 1938 by Don Post. Don Post Studios has made high quality masks for franchises such as Star Wars, Planet of the Apes, the Universal Monsters, and so, so many more. And right here is a Don Post mask. As you can see, it's a Yoda, and man, guys, this thing, it's beautiful. If you have heard of Don Post Studios, you may be intrigued to hear that Don Post Jr., owner of the company, is my grandpa. And a bit over a year ago, I had the honor of getting to interview my grandpa. And not only did he share about his work, but his life. With introductions out of the way, I hope y'all enjoy. A big reason why you got to do the Star Wars deal is because of the Planet of the Apes movies. So, like, what exactly was up with, what was the deal with the Planet of the Apes? Well, a lot of mass licenses were kids' licenses. There was a, okay. a company that did a lot of that. Uh, I'll insert a name later. And they made these cheap little vacuum form masks that went with a cape that had what was printed on it was like a scene or the full picture of the character or something like that. So it, it were, they were just for kids. Right. And so with Planet of the Apes, when that came around, this, this company, Ben Cooper, was going to get the license. So John Chambers was the makeup artist, and we asked him if he could help us you know, get a license to make these other masks. So he went to 20th Century Fox, and there was a guy there named Bernie Barron, and he was in charge. He was a, the vice president in charge of ancillary things, which means anything that didn't have a category. Okay. So he was doing licensing. So John Chambers went to him and said, you know, he said, you're really missing the mark because Don Pro Studios, they make a high quality mask and and you're just making these. You have a license that just includes these small, you know, the yeah, cheap little kitty mask. Yeah. So he convinced him they should probably do a deal with Don Pro Studios to make the high-end mask. And at that time... We were the only mass company who was capable of doing anything like that. So we got the license. Bill Malone sculpted most of the mass. I think Bob Sharp may have had a hand in it. And uh, we created these Planet of the Apes masks, which looked pretty much spot on to what you saw in the movie. And we made those masks, and they were very popular. And... That was the big thing. At that point, everybody was Planet of the Apes. And if anybody came to me and wanted to impress me with their abilities, they'd do a sculpture of Planet of the Apes mask. And that continued until Star Wars came out, of course. And Star Wars, then everybody wanted to show me what they could do with a Star Wars character. We did the Planet of the Apes mask. They were very successful. And after we were done with that, I got a letter and that brochure that you have saying we have this new movie coming out. It's called Star Wars. They presented the brochure and they also said you can have a license for a $500 advance, which today they probably asked for 50000 and up, depending on the category. But at the top, $500, that's doable. And so I said, yes, of course. And because we looked at the masks and we said, man, you know, these are so cool. And, you know, we could sell as many of these as we do plank and stuff. Well... Little did we know, we could sell a lot more than that. We got the license, and by the time we got the license, it was December when I said, 
when I initially said, yeah, we to have that license, but we didn't get the license until maybe April, May, and there was really no time to prepare. We did the sculpture. Bill Malone did the sculpture on the uh, Bader, and we we made a rotational mold to make them in rotational plastic, which with that. You could, you still couldn't do much volume, but the movie came out, and well, before the movie came out, I called all my dis- distributors that carried the mass, said we've got this new line of mass coming out. They are really great characters, and you should carry it with them. And they said, well, what's the name of the movie? And I said, Star Wars. Star what? Star Wars. The <laughs> minute and what's it about? I said, it takes place in outer space. Oh, science fiction doesn't sell. <laughs> said, oh, nobody will be, oh, and, no. you know, it's not going to yeah. be any good. So I had begged these guys for an order to take some of these masks. And then the day the movie came out, the phone started. Oh. <laughs> and uh. it was individuals who wanted to buy a mask. We were just starting to produce them. And I'm sure that first year, if I would have had them in stock and been able to ship the masks, I probably could have sold a couple hundred thousand of them at $20 each. That wasn't possible because, you know, I had these rotational molds instead of an injection mold. And I, you know, just wasn't prepared. Couldn't have been. I would have had to... A way of knowing. Well, actually, you're right. There was no way of knowing how popular that would be. And even today, you'd say, there's never been anything like it. Because look at today and all the content that that Disney's getting out of the Star Wars premise. It's mind-boggling. And, and what, what other movie has created that kind of situation where there, you could get so much content? So there's never been anything like it since what? Since the seven, from the 70s for the last almost 50 years, so over 40 years, there's never been anything like what Star Wars has created in the history of the world. Yeah. So anyway, we didn't have the injection mold for Darth Vader. If I could have, as I say, I I could have sold a couple hundred thousand of those easily at 20 bucks a piece, but we just didn't have it. We had an injection mold the next year, and we sold at least 70,000. The second year, uh, it was phenomenal. Hello. If you enjoyed this video, keep an eye out for my channel because I'll be posting more from this session soon. But until then, God bless.